Okay, not sure if this is an appropriate question, but here we go. It probably is. <laughs> it always is. Oh, gosh. I feel like I have a thorough understanding of how to eat pussy. Oh, hey! <laughs> Amen! I know the internal and external anatomy, how to stimulate it, how to adapt to different partners' preferences, but I only have a naive grounding in what to do with boobs. Just stuff that's worked in the past. Do you have any advice from a boob owner's perspective to help ground what to do with titties in a rigorous theoretical framework? So just to put... Oh, by the way... Oh, sorry. Okay, do you want yeah. to back on? One thing I was going to critique slightly. <laughs> okay. If you go... I feel like I have a thorough understanding how to eat pussy. I know the internal and external anatomy, how to stimulate it, how to adapt to different partners' preferences. You know that it's not just one thing, right? So if you go internal and external anatomy, I feel like you're talking like internal and then... Because you're like clit and, exactly. and hole. Like basically there are different things. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different say. things so around if that. If you think that pussy is one thing, that's already... Mm, mm, mm. Not just one thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's not just like thrust or tap. Like yeah. there's a whole yeah. plethora of pleasure yeah. to be pursued. Plethora. <laughs> in the pussy. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, I think I've drunk too much. <laughs> no, no, we're good, we're good. We're, we're good, good, we're good. good. Right, so boobs. Right, so boobs. Right, what so do I'm we gonna, do with boobs? I'm going to start with this just because putting it out there straight away, insecurity is... Sometimes, some, basically, we'll talk about the pleasure of one can we do with boobs, but don't be too um, upset if someone doesn't want to get you very close to them because people have insecurities around that. For instance, my boobs... Great shape, lovely nipples, all that stuff. Hairy nipples. I get the hairy nipples. I pluck them out every now and then. Well, yeah, because you just kind of have to. And I've never really seen anyone, like, actually saying things about them. But basically, sometimes, I haven't done the plucking, and they do get hairy. And I don't want anyone close to them. So I go, no hands there. So don't think that that's just, like, someone, like, completely being, like, Oh, I don't want this pleasure in the future, or in general, that's not something that turns me on. We just have insecurities. So yeah, I've just put mine out there. Mm. Hey, literally, probably only two or three people know this, and now, now everyone else does. That is also actually really fascinating to me because of all the boobs I've seen. I think Mariam has some of the most spectacular tips this side of Mars. So I'm just putting that out there as a friend who is not in a sexual relationship with you. Thank you. I mean, have mom, thanks, good jeans. But again, you fucking bastard with the tatter jeans that gave me the eyebrows, gave me the mustache, you gave me the hair <laughs> nipples as well, you bastard. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a thing. So I have huge insecurities basing around that. Like, again, as you said, which is really annoying because I have heard this a few times. Yeah, Ooh, damn straight. <laughs> you like, so I, I... One gets to that every now and then. I'm actually really insecure because... Mm. Well, I mean, again, it's not that bad. It's not that bad as, like, five or six, right? But it's enough for me to be annoyed. And also, it doesn't matter, so like, enough. what you say. Like, if someone has an insecurity, you have to deal with that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. It be nothing that... Well, I'm sorry I'm pointing now. I should be pointing. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> <But> point. Like, <laughs> But, um, yeah, I will sometimes literally not feel yeah. comfortable, like, either in the light or or just someone touching them because I'll feel like that's issues. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. So demystifying myself again. Like, no, but that's important to say because also, like, obviously you're you're saying, like, you know what to do with, like, pussy because you, like, know how to adapt to your different partners and stuff, but boobs are also, like, people want different things as well. Like, there's a lot of... That's what they're asking, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, I have very sensitive nipples. I don't have particularly big breasts, as you can see. Or maybe you can't. Maybe it's just a blank sheet, which illustrates my point quite perfectly, I think. Like, we're yeah. literally black. I'm literally titless right there, so... No, but we just... Because you're just wearing black, so... Can I, do, can I do, like, a sideways on to, like, show... show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have very small breasts, which might make you think that there's not much to do there, but... Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> That's a lot you can do with my tiny little boobies. <laughs> no, oh my god. It's so weird when we're going to cut up these videos to like the ones where they don't see us getting gradually like more tipsy and it's just this by itself. At some point we will in general probably be getting a critique that like we're giving advice while we're tipsy. But that's where we leave the sort of a bit more... No, but I'm sorry. What percentage of sexual situations happen when people are tipsy? I think it's kind of important to be able to have conversations when people are tipsy. I'm just it's saying. A like, project, it's a political basically. fucking project. <laughs> <laughs> um, we d we're not doing this because we want to no. we're doing this to illustrate a political issue yes and so 
as political partisans in this uh, polemic, um, I would say I personally, as Rowan, not as all women, as one woman, I like a variety of things onto my breasts. And it, it depends on the kind of uh, mood I'm in. I can get very, very, very turned on by very light stimuli, like a thumb brushing. I can also get very, very turned on in the right situation by hard stimuli, like a hard pinch or like a bite. A bite. Mm. Something to be said about a good bite. Yeah. But not like a strong bite. The same way you wouldn't want your genitalia be 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 certain. Right? Yeah, sometimes like a strong bite. But it has to be built up to that. If not, like in the middle of nowhere. I'm not like, sure. hey babe, strong bite. That's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. But also, um, that it's not just the nipple. That is an important thing to remember about breasts. There is a lot of interesting stuff to be done around the edges, yes. on the under cup. Yes. Like, I mean, some guys, some guys are into motorboating. I don't have big enough boobs. That's never worked for me. Have no. you ever done motorboating? Well, let's go. Have you? Well, no, what is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> motorboating is a thing I've only so seen in like porn and like shitty American TV shows. But I guess some people do it. It's like where you put like the dick between your boobs oh, yeah, and you that. do that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you have you have big enough. See, I don't have big no, enough boobs no, to do that. But you know. I tried to do it with my teenage boyfriend, and it was just like this weird, painful thing. So I don't have like I don't I don't have the gather. Like they just don't gather. They just too like it was just stretching my side boobs. I wish I said I didn't because again, there's no, but anyway, but so fuck it. there's fuck that. It. But that's not. I mean, guess that's more to pleasure the dick than. It is the pleasure the boobs doesn't really oh yeah 100 percent. but you know it turns I mean, you on, I guess. But, but doesn't matter that you know they're after that i expect a lot of work from yeah it's fine <laughs> but i mean it's, i think it's quite easy to figure figure out like what someone like for me for example if like i'm aroused already and someone like brushes a finger off across my boobs like i have quite a strong physical reaction and so you can see that that's something i'm into and i've had guys comment to me before and girls that like i am very very sensitive to like stimuli on on the breast and so it's like i i give signals very quickly on that yet nothing worse than the sort of teenager you just started making out and someone they're literally on your boobs mm. like mate nah you know the claw thing like no one yeah like like, yeah yeah i don't get turned on by someone like just it just seems like someone's first kiss and they're just desperate to be like no like ticking i've touched the boob you know yeah 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 it'd be just like yeah yeah yeah. literally no no not 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 turn on at some point when there's already all the things going on but you can kind of you can kind of like even above clothes like if you want to get in a situation you can kind of like brush and see what happens so it can be a very good form of like subtle escalation well, it's for sure it's foreplay. foreplay and like and you will get a response or not and that will like tell you what to do because yeah like and also people have very different nipples like if someone has a nipple piercing that's a whole nother kettle of fish because or if they have like really large breasts right sometimes yeah. again people uh, th- I, again i've met people that have like perhaps uh, breasts that are large enough that it's actually a fucking health problem for them, right? So they, their back hurts, you know? Somebody don't even want to take off their bras because right. it it's can a, hurt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trouble to find a particular, you know, apparel for that and all that stuff. So again, um, so they don't necessarily even see it as a sexual object because it's, it's, it's so much giving trouble in their lives, right? So again, what, basically, I guess what we're trying to say, boobs sound great, sound hot, like, I don't know, People have them, but doesn't mean that everyone is. Everyone has a s- sexual connotation to them, right? Or sometimes they do, but not necessarily do they have it in that particular day or in that particular moment. Basically, yeah. it, it is sadly as as easy as boob sound. You do have to be very, very, um, I guess, aware of the situation of their feeling about their own breasts. You know, as well. Sometimes people, yeah. like, you know, as well with the with people in in you know that are. are perhaps uh, have um you know think of uh, transitioning and issues like that you know they don't yes. even want to think that breasts are even a thing for them so that's also actually i had um a sexual experience with a non-binary person uh last january and it was very interesting because i they were wearing a bind and i didn't i therefore didn't feel comfortable touching their their chest area because i thought that they didn't want me to and then eventually they they asked me to and that was really good because i was staying away from that area because as someone who was non-binary i wanted to respect that so that's also a thing to take into consideration just because someone has breasts does not mean that they want you to gauge them and also i just wanted to say like as you might gather from you know hashtag society boobs are like a huge thing 
and like something. as in as in what well, as in like women or people with with breasts have a lot of insecurities like you might think someone's got this like fantastic huge pair of boobs but they might feel incredibly insecure about them because they've spent their life since they were 14 years old having to deal with being perved on trying to cover up wearing a top yes. too slutty this is it so whatever you, what you might think is like man she's got a great rack to her might be a whole psychological Absolutely. or emotional process that's gone on for 10 years ditch with small breasts a lot of girls and people are like uh, laughed at in school for having like what like uh, fried egg boobs or whatever and like all this stuff and so Again, what might seem like the skinny, athletic, sexy body to you might actually, to to the person with them, feel like I am insecure about my chest because it's too flat. Yes, absolutely. And so there's there's like a lot. Of... The person with the breasts has a whole history of, of having them. of having them that you don't know about yet, and they might be fine and like happy to take the top off and happy to like throw their tips around, or they might be not, and you are just gonna have to take each person individually Absolutely. and respond to their signals and respond to like maybe they'll lift your hand and move it there and maybe you can even fucking ask like can, like would you like if i touch my boob you touch your boobs could, could i like do you like if i do this like okay you know. i have a whole other issue with yep. this and this was the thing with uh, was it slut slut them bitch for instance i hate my breasts to be referred to as tits i hate mm. it i just don't like where tits I ah interesting really okay it. and someone goes like oh tits titties i go like that's a straight away turn, a turn off, off. hate it boobs yes breasts yes tits i hate that word i just hate that word see that's really interesting because i like my my mom you've said you tips like not in a sexual way obviously but like in a casual way and i quite like it as a as a demystifying word, in fact, because it's kind of, it's not sexy. And I like it because it's not sexy. Like, this, 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 Whereas, like, like breasts, this, like... I really want to like breasts. And I feel like as an adult woman who is a feminist, I should like the word breasts. But to me, it just sounds very, like, bosom. You know, like, this is an adult woman's bosom. And I yeah, like you see, and breasts. I like, like, I don't feel like I have breasts. I don't feel like I'm enough of a grown-up to have breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, so I think that maybe goes back to, like, I was a late bloomer i was in the friendship mm. group with like three other girls they're all like, taller than me and they all just had like you know gorgeous breasts by the time they're like 14 15 and i for me like when i was 17 they suddenly came out of nowhere but literally i was flat chested all my life and then when they did come i'm like i have breasts this is great <laughs> yeah so yeah so i guess i felt very much bo- it's kind of sad, but like I felt feminine after that. Yeah, but that's the thing. We grew up in a society, you know what I mean? Yes. Like it's. Yes. It's so that's actually a really good say, thing. Not to say that we should be challenging that society because that's what we're. No, hoping, but don't know. put that on the person with the breasts to do. And yeah, that's a really good point. Like the language you use, like yeah, check yeah. in first. See how she or they refer to their own chest before you do. I mean, chest is also a safe one to go with until you know as well. Yeah. Yeah, like because yeah. that also works for like non-binary and like trans people just say chest like can i touch your chest like do you like yeah. when i do this yeah I, so again, also sorry. nipple is a is a neutral word yes no connotation 100 percent. and so yeah so i think well, <laughs> sadly as as easy as it sounds like oh what do i do with the with the boobs mm. um there's actually sadly a whole issue with that is very very individual but i, I think that's with most people with most of their intimate bits so yeah that, um, the thing to do with the sense. boobs is find your partner and find out and isn't that fun to be honest yeah Yes. Because yes. there's you, the whole different range, you no know, matter who it is, and that's kind of Yeah, yeah, and then you exciting. find your own language for, for that, yeah. for them. I mean, interesting, I, I, like, I remember the first time I dated someone with boobs, and it was really exciting for me to know what to do. Because what she wanted me to do to hers was different from what I wanted her to do to mine. And so, again, that was, like, a really, a really exciting thing, because... Yeah. So yeah. It's a good question to ask, but sadly we can't give a definitive yeah. answer, and it's up for you to enjoy finding out, really. But I'm, I'm glad you're confident about what to do with the pussy, but you know, there's a lot yeah. going on down there. Yeah. Like, like so anyone, <laughs> always, if anyone goes like, I just fucking know that shit. I'm always like, red flag, red flag. <laughs> so sorry, a little bit, but I mean, it is. but yeah, you'll do alright. Yeah, I think so. Yeah.